So I guess it's all warmed up now. Temperature's at normal. One more redneck modification is that this kind of engine has what's called a high swirl head. It's a weird shape head design that makes the fuel burn more efficiently and stuff like that. So it was kind of restrictive. So I've reshaped the cylinder heads to give lower the compression so I can add more boost and to give it higher flow so the ports are slightly modified too. That didn't cost nothing. Just a bit of tinkering around. Now, of course, this car is incredibly fast. Well, at least for its day. Way back, seven seconds for a zero to 100 kilometers an hour or zero to 60 was considered quite fast, especially for a four cylinder car. And quarter miles in the mid 14s. So, you know, that's pretty good. But today's standards, that's not, not the greatest, but still you got to spend a lot of money to get that. And I didn't spend a lot of money to make this. But I can't really express it too much when driving on gravel because as soon as it gets to 3,000 RPM, it goes to hyper boost and then the tack just buries itself. I'll show you when I turn around. And that's only with half throttle. So I'll give it half gas. You just wait a tiny bit and then see what happens. You see what I mean? Now we'll try second gear. See, tack jump, jumped up and the speedometer went right to 120. Went to overboost for a second. I might not have my wastegate delay system adjusted properly. So this is first gear again, half gas. Out of control. Second, half gas. Just instantly hits 100k as soon as it goes to hyperboost. So it's awesomely fun on the road when you get some traction. And you can see the dust marks on the driveway where it lit up in those gears. And the dust cloud just drifting away. race this on the farm field against other field cars and stuff and it always loses against most cars. Problem is it just never stops spinning off-road. Dirt, gravel, it doesn't matter. To drive a car like this and have fun you gotta actually be on pavement or it just loses every race. So I guess I'll put it away for a little while. Problem is I got already two licensed vehicles in the road and I don't know what to license this year to, to, for the third one, the Mercedes or this car. They're both very fun, but the Mercedes definitely gets the women to watch, and no woman looks at a blue K-car wagon when you're driving by.